In this video, we're going to discuss some Python input and output. To print output to your screen, just simply use the print function. And a you can print out things like a string literal, which is pretty much just text of any type of characters, like hello world. And it could even contain like special characters, like a dollar sign, hashtag, and numbers as well. And it's usually enclosed in single or double quotes. And we're going to see some examples of that soon. A white space is just any space, tab, or new line. If you need to have your uh, output display on the next line, you can use the backslash n, which is the new line character. There's also a function called input, which will read data into your program. It reads it all as strings, uh, but you can use something like the int function, which will convert strings to integers if you wanted to use that data let's say for a calculation. All right, let's try all these out and see how they work. All right, so in PyCharm, let's try out some of the things that we just saw. First thing was the print function. So we just type print and type whatever you want in quotes. And it will print it out when you run the program. There it is, whatever you want. And if you typed something else after it in another print function, something else it will print that right after it on a new line if you wanted these to be on the same line you could do something like this at the end of the first print statement after this thing which is called a string literal so anytime you have any kind of text or combination of text and characters and symbols or whatever surrounded by single or double quotes that's called a string literal so after the string literal we'll type a comma end equals double quote double single quote, run, and it puts it all on the same line, except there's no space between want something. So it can add a little space right there, and that will run it. Or you could have put a space right here. Now you can see that it has two spaces, but that's good enough. Okay, let's try out some other stuff. If we had a variable like age, and another variable called name, we can print these out in our print statements. We could say name, comma, is age years old. And notice that every item, whether it's a string literal or a variable, is separated by a comma. So you'll see that it prints out Bob is 20 years old. Also, notice that the white space here does not matter. We don't even need these white spaces. We could delete them or you could just have a whole bunch of them like that and it still works exactly the same way. Although, you know, it's not very pretty to read. So I'd say at least one space just for readability after each operator or variable or data. If you wanted something to print out on a new line without having another print statement, you could just take a backslash n wherever you want. So right before the word old, it backslash n right there will make it print old on a new line. And that is the new line character. If we wanted to get Bob's name from input, we could have just said name is assigned to input like that. And we should also prompt it to ask what your name is, like print. What's your name? Okay, wait a minute, there's a problem here. Do you see that the apostrophe in what's conflicts with the apostrophe surrounding what's your name? So if you have that issue, just change the single quotes to double quotes and problem solved. All right, run that. What's your name? Bob. Then it prints out Bob is 20 years old. All right, same thing with age. We could say, print what's your age change that 20 to the word input so this input function and let's say you're at 20 name is Bob not my name by the way Bob is 20 years old and it prints out we can get rid of this backslash n because it still looks weird let's try some other data 34 Joe, J 
Joe is 34 years old. If Joe had a birthday, can we add one to age? And then print out age. Let's see if it changes it. Let's try it. 34. Joe. Oh, we get an error because all data that goes into the input function is read as a string. So what we need to do is convert it to an integer. So we type we surround age with create a new variable new age is the integer value of age plus one and we'll print out new age. Let's try that and see if that works. 34 Joe Joe is 34 years old and you can see that now we're able to add one to age and because we converted that string value of age to an integer value of age and then printed it out. And I think, yeah, we covered everything we talked about in the slide. Thanks for watching and see you next time.